Hello, my name is Nick Klensky, reporting for the RSNA Daily Bulletin. I'm here at RSNA 2019 with Jan Vitautsky to discuss applications for 3D printing and augmented reality and interventional cardiology. In what scenario would it be best to use augmented reality in interventional cardiology? Well, the specifics on clinical scenarios are not sure yet, but right now we're seeing trends where we are going into intraoperative situations. With augmented reality, we see a lot of potential when it comes to guidance of uh, ca catheters during those procedures. In opposite to 3D printing, where we tend to use them more in preoperative situations and simulations, we can't really do that with augmented reality, but augmented reality has more benefits when it comes to quicker turnaround time. So for example, in cases where you need the model to be delivered, immediately when you have an urgent case, you might tend to go to augmented reality solution. You mentioned uh, 3D printing. Could you expand on the use of uh, 3D printing in interventional cardiology? Yeah, we have a lot of evidence on 3D printing and interventional cardiology, especially on structural interventions. So we have a lot of publications on valvular uh, procedures, on the uh, aortic root replacement and aortic valve replacement and others. A lot of them show even clinical outcomes that benefit patients. So we get not only perfect sizing of the devices used in the procedures, but also shorter operative time, for example. We don't have that sort of evidence in augmented reality. So right now we still go for 3D printing when we want to make sure that we have those mechanical properties. We have a physical model. It's a little longer and it's a little pricier, but it's still right now state of the art in planning cardiovascular procedures. What is the most important thing you would like learners to know about how these technologies affect patient outcomes? Uh, we can talk mostly about 3D printing, as I mentioned. We have strong evidence there that shows that 3D printing really benefits patients. We don't have that sort of evidence yet for augmented reality, but I want everybody to notice that we will probably benefit from both. They will probably have a lot of synergy and they will complement each other. I'd predict that 3D printing would go more into preoperative phase, while augmented reality will be great for intraoperative guidelines and uh, guiding uh, and pr procedure and checking where the catheter is at the, at the exact moment. Thank you, Mr. Vidalski. Thank you. This has been Nick Klensky reporting for the RSNA Daily Bulletin. You can find more RSNA 2019 news at rsna.org slash bulletin. Follow us all year at rsna.org slash news.